Hey, what's up, guys? It's a Killer Jin. My next video, another bonus video. Basically, um, I know people when they make their games, they want to have like um, Sakoden style type uh, party. So basically, if you have like four people maximum in your party, but you have eight selectable party members, what if you wanted to basically mix and match? What if you wanted, you know, I mean, I think I have it here. I coded it in class. Well, you have a uh, well. Basically, I made it so that um, these one, two, three, four, five people are optional uh, and the main character though has to stay I, I just made it that way for now and the other three slots are for optional party members one two three four and five so basically you can pick three of them two of them have to obviously stay but how do you make the game so that you can dismiss them when you want and they'll come back to this little hideout let's say this is your hideout says so this is the village and I made this blue house to hide out so you go to your, your the hideout here, I guess it's friend's house. And whenever they're in your party, obviously they're with you. And when they're uh, dismissed or they're not in your party, they'll be chilling at this little house here. So how do you get that to happen? So you, you can basically dismiss them anywhere and they'll always return to this house. Uh, so this is, I guess, the beginning number one. So basically, I guess to get it started, you would obviously have to make, um, go to your database, make these people. I made them here, so I'm not going to slowly go through them again. I just quickly made them. I mean, I just wanted to show these people, so just do that. Next, you need an item. I, I would call it a key item. I'll call it dismiss party member. So here you go, dismiss party member. It's all sad. Their heart's broken. You have to, miss, you have to dismiss them. Make it not consumable, menu, key item. And basically, when you use dismiss party member, it's going to go to common event dismiss party members. To do stuff, I mean, I don't know if I really go over that, but just double click other common event and create a common event. Again, we're going to create it now, though. Well, I'm going to show you guys. Dismiss party member. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> wow, it's actually a lot. So, anyways, actually, number one is for every party member you want to be able to add or dismiss, I would recommend creating a common event for you actually. You know, adding them and dismissing them. So you see Teresa here, Marsha, Lucius, Bob, and Laura. So then when you go to add Teresa, which is the first one, this is what happens. You basically have to get the party size. So what I did was I created an event, a common event called find party size. So you create a common event called find party size. It's here. So basically, it uses a script that I uh, basically figured out how to do is that I basically this says set the common ver uh, the global variable number five with the size of the party. So basically, it says right here party member members dot length. It gets your current size of your party and puts it in, in global variable number five. And this is the script. You just write it exactly the way it's it, you see it here. And again, to do scripts, you just go to three and you go to script. Wonderful. And you know, and then this basically tells you your party size is blah, uh, just so that it tells you it. Um, it's just feedback. So basically, you find the party size. And basically, the actor says you want me to join you. You says choices. Yes, you want them to join, or no. You say no, maybe next time. But you say yes. It's it checks. See, it, it, uh, I'm sure you can tell. Variable number five for me is called box. So if I go to my variables here, I can just show you real quick. I go to variables, my number five is box. So that's why I just call it box. It's just something, it's just a variable for me to use. And as you can see, find party size basically puts it in number five, which is box. It just gives me the party size and number five. So now I can use it. Now it says checks box because my maximum size is four. So if box is greater than or equal to four, the person's going to say, sorry, it looks like. You know, you have to make some room for me because it's full. Your party is full. Else, add Teresa. Teresa's in your party. Well, just change party member is here. Change party member. You add the person. And then again, oh, for each party member, I would obviously make switches with all the party members' name: Teresa, Marsha, Lucius, Bob, Laura. Again, those are the one, two, three, four, five. Uh, members that can join you so you want you want to make this this is a mandatory thing make this and then once you basically add them in turn on the switch 
So basically all this is the same across the whole thing. Besides the diff the only difference is Aunt Teresa, I mean these are just, you know, these are nice to have. Add Teresa, Teresa party member on. Marsha. Same thing. Almost exactly the same. Add Marsha, Marsha on. Lucius, same thing. The faces are different, obviously, because you know here you can see their faces. It's nice if you can see their faces. So this is all it is, but again, add Lucius, Lucius on. Bob, Bob, yes, you, I hope you see a pattern and you can always just pause the video if you really need to see it and copy it line for line. Now, let's go to leave. Leaves is very similar. You want me to leave? This is this is what you're gonna use when you call call this uh, dismiss party member. And basically, it's gonna um, be all the same. Do you want me to leave? Yes. Okay, then. You remove Teresa, because this is Teresa. And Teresa in your party off. Again, the switch is off. Now you're gonna switch that switch off. And again, for each one of them, it's exactly the same. Remove her, off. Move him off. Move Bob off. Same thing. So add and 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 leave all exactly the same. Okay. So now that we covered that, last but not least, again, when it comes to dismiss party members, now basically when you call it, it's gonna basically I'm gonna use this as a flag. And the flag, I mean you can do this differently. I I, I realized after I did that I didn't really need to do the flag like this I can just check the party size but um, anyways um, if, if Teresa's in your party you you do the leave Teresa common event if Marsh is in your party do leave Marsh Marsha Lucius in your party leave Lucius and you can see there's a pattern and this flag just checks to see if there's anyone in your party because basically if anyone is in your party it goes to on and if it's if it's still off because it never entered this, it's basically saying there are no optional party members to dismiss. This is when you're by yourself. I could actually use the party size and say if it's one to do it, and I don't even need this. This is kind of um. I mean, it's nice to know like you could use flags like this. And it's also nice to know that I could have just checked party size, and if my party size if box is equal to one, I can say this as well without using the flag. But you know, it's nice to have flags sometimes, and and you should be able to realize how this works and how this is cool. And you can be like, oh yeah, you can also find party size checkbox for one, and you can do the same thing without all this, these flags. Yeah, it both works. So that's all you need. And again, you can just pause it, and you can just copy it. So um, basically, last but not least, I mean that's basically everything. I know I'm flying through it because I'm not like typing it in. But again, you can just um. You know, pause it and oh, sorry about that, and get to it. So, and last but not least, now your party members. Now it's like, okay, how do I get them to appear and disappear? Well, each one of them have to be here, the com local common events. And now, when you go to them, basically it's all the same. You have them sitting here, their face, Teresa, random, same as same as characters, action button, and then when they're gone, see Teresa in your party makes them disappear. So you see that? See how they're they're gone now? So there you go. And then when they're in your party, they disappear. And um, I think I covered everything. So now it's just you know a matter. Oop. Oh, sorry. I, the way I can't see the bottom. It's annoying. So. Now to see if it works. I think I covered everything from them standing there to the item dismissing them to um, to add leave using the switches and then the, the item dismiss calling this and they're basically set. So that's all it really takes. I mean, uh, I'm just gonna show you it working. Oh, and obviously like how I got the item is um I did the um the game starts. This is actually the starting screen. So again, I use this auto run on maps to give me what I want. I call the RPG initialize. So basically it's a common event. I put everything that I want the game to give me initially inside here. And I made it give me the ro uh, the dismissed party member item so that way I have it. So when I start the game, I have it. So I go to my, um, see just, I go to my key items, it's here, dismiss, 
the party size is one. There are no optional party members to dismiss. See, because obviously I'm by myself. There's no optional. So again, I go see my little friends here. Hey, look, all my little friends, and I can just, you know, who do I want? Okay, she looks cool. I guess I'll add her. Yes, I want you to join me. Yay, she's following me. She's no longer there. Then this person. Yay, this person. Yay, and I'm, I'm full now, so I shouldn't be able to add no more. But I'm be like, hey, Bob, what's up? Let's do this. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, well. And same thing with this person. That, sorry, it looks like I have, um, oh, I have to uh, make room. Uh, it, it goes off because I didn't, you know, whatever. Right, right here, that's just, that's just, you know, I just had to add a break to that, whatever. I have to make some room. Anyways, so I'm, I'm chilling, I'm having fun, I'm, 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 you know, I'm on adventures, and I'm like, you know what? I, I want to dismiss someone. Let's dismiss, no, no, let's not dismiss. Let's dismiss her. Dismiss her. Okay, then she leaves. Yay! I mean, she's gone. Oop, she's gone. So I go back, and she's back. But you know, I want Bob. He's cool. Bob's cool. So I go to Bob. Yeah, I add him. But you know what? I don't like this this person with the glasses. Yeah, I don't like that person anymore. So let me just like dismiss him. No, glasses go away. No. And there you go. And then I can add this girl now. And just add her. Awesome. She's in my party. Look at there you go. So so basically, I mean this can get much more complicated. Like in your game, some people might be optional sometimes. Sometimes people might, you know, um not be optional, need necessary, so you can no longer actually dismiss them from your party. They no longer are optional. But that's why you do a common event for each and every one of them. So basically, let's say, I don't know, Bob, add Bob, or leave Bob. This one, I can say if Bob, you know, is, I can make switches for each character. So this right here, I can I can make new ones that say Teresa is necessary, or is optional, is optional. The same thing, Teresa, Marsha, Lucia, same thing. So only if these are on, can they be dismissed. If it's off, I can basically tell them, oh, you know, it just skips them because they're no longer um, optional. So it only gives you the option for people who are um, optional, you know? So I can say, only if Bob's optional, do this, else skip him. Else, you know, just don't even do this. You can do that. So that's why you basically have um, all different um, common events. So at any moment, you can update this code and it'll be fine. That's why I always recommend putting these type of things in common events. That would be a theme. And obviously you watch my, my coding videos one, um, how to mine intermediate expert master level um, rope and all this. I mean, again, the savior is this. This is the best <laughs> script. And if you watch my videos, you know why. But th basically, um, I guess that wraps up how you do like a Sokoden type optional party member thing. I hope uh, you learned some things. If you guys still have questions, just uh, I guess leave it in the comments or let me know and I can go over stuff. But ba that basically covers optional party members 101 where you have you know a total, you have a limit of four and you have more than um, you know three optional. That way you, know, you, you have a selection of people um, and that's how you uh, manage that. And that's the basics of it. Hope you enjoy my video and um, hope to see you next time. Thanks.